Hey friend, I got a great scripture for you today, and I'm especially uh, glad to be alive to share it with you. I had a horrible vehicle accident today. Uh, it's one of those days where you just thank God for angels. My wife actually woke up this morning to a voice. Sometime after 3 a.m., a voice, she hears a voice say, Steve's going to die today. Well, uh, that kind of woke her up, and so she was doing some praying and saying, Lord, please don't let my husband die today. And then I get up at 4 uh, to go to work, and she's saying, please be careful as you drive. I'm, oh, yeah, of course, I'll be careful. I've been in the oil patch 17 years, and I've never had any real accident. Uh, you know, maybe a little tiny little dent, you know, hit a snowbank or something. But I've never had a real accident. So I'm like, oh, yeah, don't worry, I'm all right. I'm going through white court, and uh, I'm going through a green light, going probably, I don't know, whatever the speed limit is, 50, 60 kilometers an hour. I'm kind of clipping along pretty good, and a guy turning left, coming the other way, pulls right in front of me, and I smoke him. And I got a big, huge trailer behind me, so I mean, there was some weight. There was some meat to this crash. And uh, thank God he was okay, and I'm 100%, you know, and, but this guy jumps out of his truck. I mean, I've totaled his truck. I think I've totaled my truck. It looks, I mean, when I didn't realize, by the way, I don't know if you know this, but I was often wondered about airbags. Where do they come from, you know? Uh, is there like a little, like, was it one of these little square? No. My nice leather dash explodes. Airbags just blast right out of the dashboard. And totally destroy your dashboard. So anyways, that's where the airbags come from. But uh, I've totaled my truck, total his. This guy jumps out of his truck, runs over, buries his head in my... Opens my door, jumps, almost jumps on me. Buries his head on me. I'm so sorry, please forgive me. I said, I forgive you. Don't even sweat it. Are you okay? Oh, my ribs are a bit sore. But turns out he's okay. A little bit of a bruised ribs, but... The police and the, uh, the, the, the paramedics, they're all there. Are you okay? Are you okay? And I told them, I looked them square in the eye, and I said, I am 100% fine because I have angels with me. They just go with me everywhere. This is just the devil trying to kill me, but he can't because God is with me. And they kind of, oh, yeah, okay, whatever, sir. So, uh, But, you know, it's amazing afterwards. You know, you sit back and you think, Lord, you knew, you knew the second that I would be at that intersection. Uh, you knew the exact moment he would be. You knew that he would make a bad move and decide to turn left in front of me. You knew this at 3.30 a.m. when you spoke to my wife. I'm assuming it was the Lord. Not that I am dying today. I, uh, day's not over yet, but <laughs> I believe I'm not dying. But it was what she needed to hear at that moment to, uh, to be alerted to prayer and intercession for her husband. And, you know, the truth of this is there was a plan. There was an attack against me today. But God knew and he was able to get the prayer and the intercession. I just I'm amazed by that. I'm just amazed by that, the details. Scripture I want to share with you today is from Psalm 139, verse 16. It says, all the days ordained for me, and it's true for you too. This is David speaking. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. The next verse, it says, how precious to me are your thoughts, O God, how vast are are the sum of them. If I were to count them, they, they would outnumber the grains of sand. Think about that. The grains of sand on the sea. Like the thoughts that God has towards you, toward me. When you realize that God's thinking about you all the time, Matthew 10 30 says that he's got all the hairs on your head numbered. When you realize that, when you believe that, I'll tell you something, that builds confidence for this life because you realize that he, not, yeah, you may go through some stuff, but he knows what's coming before it comes. And if you're listening to him, if you're willing and obedient, he can protect you from anything. You listen to those cues when the Lord speaks to you and says, hey, it's time to pray or someone's in danger. We need to take the time to pray. 
And uh, boy, I tell you, this woke me up too to even the re- the realization of the importance of prayer. We've got to have people who are praying for us. Any of you uh, old silver-haired intercessors who just don't have enough work to do, friend, uh, I'm happy to recruit you to intercede for me. I'm always willing to take on more. You know, let me know. Shoot me an email if you want. Feedback at oilpatchpulpit.com. I'll, I, I'm, I'll take all the intercessors I can handle, but um, but you realize that the devil has a plan for our lives, but God has a plan for our life too. And you know, I'll tell this as a little aside, kind of off, not quite on the scripture we're talking about today, but just reminds me of the importance too of praying against retaliation. I almost always do that. I'm going to tell you something, a mistake that I made this weekend. Whenever I minister and uh, whenever I'm a part of, you know, anything where I see God moving or people getting touched or healed or whatever, I'll always pray afterwards and say, I just declare in the name of Jesus, no retaliation from the enemy. And I never have any issues. But I had a wonderful weekend with my friends, uh, Pastor Chris and Nikki Mathis. Powerful meetings this weekend in Edmonton and miracles were breaking out. He, Friday night, boy, if they've got that on their website, uh, the, the Summit Edmonton on Facebook. But uh, they often have all the videos for free, so check it out. But the the miracles that we're bringing, the healings. And then on Sunday, uh, we had a baptismal service. And for those of you who know, I, I preach uh, on baptism and the power of baptism in the name of Jesus. And he had me up there share a little bit. And then we went from, it was supposed to be four baptisms. It ended up being 61. And people were just getting rocked in the presence. The baptismal service was insane. I should have thought. I mean, we kicked the devil in the teeth all weekend. Miracles, signs, wonders, baptisms. Um, people getting saved. It was People came to the meeting. They weren't even saved before they left. They were serving Jesus and baptizing in the name of the Lord. We were booting them in the teeth all weekend. I should have taken the time to pray against retaliation you know and it's such a simple prayer if you don't do that i encourage you to do that just to say in the name of jesus i just call for a protection over myself over my family over my children over my business and i just i'll often say i just pray for a bloodline of protection i plead the blood of jesus over all of who i everything i am everything i've got protect us lord and i declare no retaliation from the enemy and I tell you, anytime I've ever done that, I've never had an issue. But I didn't do that this weekend. I kind of forgot that. I was just kind of grinning all morning about all the things that God did this weekend. And the devil got in there a little bit, and he got to kind of give me a little boot. But thank God for the angels, that uh, God is merciful and he's gracious. But uh, just thoughts to ponder for you. Number one, God knows everything that's coming. All your days are written in your in his book. He knows the trouble that's coming your way. Number two, make sure you pray. When you hear God's voice, pray. Get other people praying for you. When God speaks to you about someone else, don't just go, oh, I wonder what, just pray. Just pray. When God puts someone in, the, in, your, in your heart, pray for them. And get intercessors praying for you. But also remember, No retaliation. That's a powerful prayer to pray over yourself. And I will be certainly more careful to do that in the future. Anyways, hope that was a little uh, bit of a blessing to you. And I hope that you're a better prayer warrior because of it. And more convinced that you're not alone. There's angels all around you. And uh, you stay close to Jesus and you're going to be just fine.